Yo guys, Delaire here and welcome back. Today we'll be reviewing the Jabra 75 T's. I know there's 85 T's out there, but people have been telling me crazy to try out the 75's. They said they're pretty great and they're slightly better than the newer versions. Not sure if that's true. So as you can see right here, we have the case. Looks nice, they're sleek. So when you pull them out, by the way, they charge in here. Most of you should know that. They're pretty small, pretty nice and compact. They look nice. If you're wondering why I keep looking down, it's because my camera's right here and I need to make sure it's in focus. So this is the right ear, it's not gonna focus, there we go. So my only issue with these is this gel part. So I've been using these for two days now. They fit in very nice, like they fit in very comfortably. Once they're in, they're in, you can shake around and they won't come out, they're pretty good. Um, the issue was the other day I pulled them out and that gel part that, you know, fits your ear, kind of stayed stuck. <laughs> I had to take a tweezer and pull them out. Uh, well, let's go through the sound qualities and stuff. So I'm gonna pull up my phone right now. So now that they're paired and it's gotta be in my ear, I put one in only because these things do noise cancel pretty well. So you have three options and you'll see them right, uh, you'll see them right here, all right? So you have active noise canceling which will literally cancel everything. I don't hear anything when that's on it. It's pretty fun. When you're doing dishes, no running water in, the, in your ear. Someone's trying to talk to you. You can ignore the shit out of them. And then you have hear through. Kind of cool, kind of not. It kind of amplifies. I don't know if any of you have ever gone hunting. You can wear special earmuffs that will reduce the sound of a gunshot, but amplify the person speaking to you. So anything low, you'll be able to hear them, footsteps and all that stuff will be amplified while a gunshot, anything loud will be reduced. They don't necessarily do that. They just allow audio through. So if your music's at 100%, you're still not hearing shit. You'll hear some words, so it's gonna confuse the crap out of you, but it doesn't, you can't hear them. But if you turn your, your volume down to about a third, a quarter way down, you can hear pretty clearly. Like the music's still there, but you can have full-fledged conversations. Then there's off, which, you know, just shuts them off. You can mess with the music equalizer, turn up and down every little aspect, boost, mid-range, and treble. You can have it set to my moment, commute, and focus. Those things are personalized preferences that you can change. You can also make your own presets. So if you're listening to rock one day, you can have the bass and all that stuff up. But if you're listening to something more relaxed, you can turn them down again. You can update them directly from your phone, which is pretty neat. You know, the phone's pretty sleek and easy to go. Uh, my one major thing with them, and that's my issue with earbuds. I never wanted to buy earbuds. I'm a firm believer of wire. Wire every day. Wire, you don't need to charge. People say, well, it's inconvenient to have a wire. It's also inconvenient doing an eight hour live stream or you're doing an eight hour game session with friends and oh, your headphones died. Now you gotta charge them. I get stuck with no audio. I just don't see the point of having wireless. So I got these just because people have been telling me to do so, um, especially for my schooling. We are gonna use these as intercoms as well. We're all gonna be in a, like a giant call. Hopefully I'm gonna use it for my business if they work as well as I think they will. Uh, so calls, so audio is decent. I'm not gonna say it's great. Like I would give these a seven out of 10 for my quality. For sound quality, it's gonna be worse. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. Music don't sound that great in these, like at all. Sometimes there's crackling, sometimes there's hissing, sometimes it just disconnects. And that's another thing. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for look and comfort because they feel great and all, but I'm gonna reduce two points because the little pieces that are on there stay stuck in the air sometimes. So an eight out of 10 for that kind of shit, okay? Um, the battery life is pretty long, like 12 hours with case and all. It's, it's pretty convenient for that part. Charging pretty quick too. Give that a 10 out of 10. But yeah, the audio quality is horrible. Like it's not at all what you would think from Jabra. You wouldn't. Like I have better audio quality from my Razer Krakens, right? Noise cancel is not as good. The noise canceling is not nearly the same. The Jabra is destroyed for noise canceling. But, yeah, not that great for sound quality whatsoever. Um, another downfall of these 
is uh, you can't have one in. Like you can, you can turn on the music for one, but let's just say I put one in and then I give my other earbud to my girlfriend. They only work close to each other. They do not work separate, which I get. You got to stay close to the phone and blah, 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 right? I get that. But if we're right beside each other, they should work. But no, they quite literally can't be further than your ears apart. So if they're slightly further, they shut off. Uh, Google Assistant works in them. It's pretty cool. I like that. If you tap it on the left ear, you can change the settings from noise canceling to hear through to off. On the other ear, you click it once to pause, twice to, to skip. If you click them both together, at least that's what happens with me. I can talk to my Google Assistant. It's, it's pretty cool. Like the technology is there. Um, so far, I'm, I don't know how the 85 T's aren't better from the people that have gotten them close friends and all that stuff. They say that these ones outperform. I don't know if I got duds, but this is getting returned. Like what? Like 100%. So Jabra, this isn't sponsored by the way. Like I went out of my way to get these. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can do any better. Send me some, I'll do a review on them. I'll pay for them. Give me what you think is your best. So last thing, okay, before you guys leave, if you're thinking about getting these for gaming, yeah, mobile, okay, mobile gaming. They disconnect a lot. You can connect them to your computer, but Bluetooth is annoying on computers. Game audio sounds horrible on computer. Discord calls don't work. A lot of it is just garbage. Every two seconds they disconnect. They were not designed for gaming whatsoever, which some reviews said they were good for gaming. And then other reviews said they were great and garbage. And then, like, it was just a lot of mixed reviews for the gaming part. So I had to try it for myself and they were shite, like major, major shit. So do I recommend you to buy these and spend that much money? No, no, fuck no, no. Stick with some wired headphones, guys. You don't need to charge them. They work just as good. And they're pretty cheap now because everyone wants wireless. So, like I said, Jabra, if you want to redeem yourself, let me know what to get. Because these things, 75T is not good. It's Ben Delaire. Later.